I was leaving Istanbul just in the nick of time as a snowstorm was set to hit the city in a day. The weather was cold and rainy as it had been my entire stay, and I was already looking forward to being in Antalya, at least 15 degrees warmer and on the Mediterranean. I was going to Antalya for cosmetic dental work. You can watch that entire video from the link above, so I'll skip talking about it mostly in this vlog. My flight was out of the domestic terminal at the Istanbul airport on the European side. Turkey is one of those countries where you have to do a security baggage check before you can even enter the airport, which is always a pain when you're traveling with a lot of baggage. No business class for me this flight. When booking, I saw that on this short flight of less than an hour, the business class and economy seats were exactly the same, with the only difference that in so-called business class, the middle seat was empty. I did, however, buy excess baggage, which caused next to nothing for the extra 20 kilos I was transporting. Unlike in most airports in America, the airport food wasn't bad and I enjoyed a sandwich, rather than eating the garbage they handed out on the flight. I've arrived at my gate and I'm a little bit nervous because at the check-in, <clears throat> the guy was really strict with the baggage allowance and even though I purchased extra checked bag allowance up to 40 kg and I was only at like 33, he checked my carry-on suitcase and it was 11 kg and it's only supposed to be 8. So he's like, well, just try your luck and he wouldn't give me a sticker for the checked or for the carry-on cabin baggage. And so now I've had to be a bit creative. As you can see, like I've taken some random things out of stuff to like wear on my body to reduce the weight and reduce the possibility that somebody might be like, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what would happen in that case if they would just make me check it or pay extra or, you know, make me like take out stuff, which would be a problem because the issue with my carry-on suitcase is that it's aluminum. It's heavy, even empty. It weighs probably five kg. So. I took out my laptop that was in there and I put it in my backpack, which is actually my personal item. Like, I don't know why he's giving me problems about this. Up until just the week prior, it had been a long time since I'd been on a plane and an even longer time since boarding a bus to get to the plane on the tarmac. These seats were the so-called business class, but as you can see, there's absolutely no difference other than the middle being empty. So my fear was for nothing, they actually didn't take any look at all at my cabin baggage so I went right through. Then we took a pretty long bus ride to the plane um, and here I am in my seat kind of in the front and um, I'm really hoping that the middle seat right now that is currently unoccupied will stay that way but I think that there's another bus of people coming and when I checked yesterday it did seem like all the seats were taken. but. It's an hour flight to Antalya. It wasn't long before we pushed back and were in the sky. Once we pierced the heavy cloud covering Istanbul, the scenery gave way to stunning snow-capped mountains. And soon, the further south we traveled, the more the landscape turned green. The flight was so quick that the time in the sky was shorter than checking in and passing through airport security. Quick flight, I think even actually less than one hour, made it here to Antalya and just waiting on the baggage claim. Then I need to find a taxi. There's no Uber that's operating here, I just checked. So I'm gonna have to do it the old fashioned way to get to my hotel and then today I actually have pretty much nothing to do because my appointment at the dental center is tomorrow at 8 a.m. So we can maybe go and explore the town a little bit. Unlike in Istanbul, the luggage carts at the Antalya airport are free. Baggage recovered, I headed out into the unknown. 
Originally, I was a little bit worried about what the process would be like since there's no Uber and there's actually no B Taxi app as well, which is the local Turkish taxi app. But when you walk right outside the arrivals area, there's a man holding up a sign with an official yellow taxi um, sign and you just follow him. And so now I'm in a taxi on the way to the hotel, which is only about 15, 20 minutes away. And uh, yeah. Be there soon. I chose to stay at the Aqua Resort because it was recommended by the dental center and I got a preferential rate. Oh, I made it to the room and I'm going to give you a tour of my home for the next seven nights while having my dental work done. I'm staying at the Aqua and I have a deluxe sea view room and the sea view is really something to see. So I literally just came in and I want to give you a tour before it gets too messy. To the right side is the bathroom. The only thing that's missing is a bathtub, but I will have to content myself with that. The closet space, bed, sitting area, desk for work, a hot uh, teapot, TV here across from the bed, but I really felt like it was worth it to pay a bit extra and have this view. Take a look outside here at this incredible view. Unbelievable. Wow. So it's still cold but it's at least 20 degrees warmer than it was in Istanbul. And more importantly, it's not raining. At least it's not today, but the forecast I think calls for some more rain later on. And actually I can see from my room and my view, when I look to the right, there are snow capped mountains uh, over the sea. I mean, wow, this is just quite an incredible view. It's really worth it. I think that for an extra maybe $80 total, so like $10 a night to have a room with this kind of view is just wow, especially because the space itself is not very large, but to be able to just see something this beautiful, especially when you're recuperating from uh, any kind of dental work or any kind of surgery or whatever the case may be, is just really beautiful. And I haven't had a view like this in a long time, at least maybe a view specifically like this I've had beautiful views in Bali too let's not lie but this one puts a big smile on my face as I mentioned at the start of this video I'm not going to talk about my process for veneers if you're interested in that you can watch the entire video about it above I'll just say that it ended up being really intense and until they were finished I didn't feel like leaving the resort so on my last day only I finally visited the old town of Antalya this is Hadrian's Gate. Yes, like my name, but with an H. And it marks the entrance to the quaint old town that in this season and at the end of the pandemic was devoid of tourists. There were, however, a ton of pigeons. I'm here at Hadrian's Gate, which is named for the Roman emperor. And I just so happen to have come at the same time, apparently, as the president of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, which is why there's all these police here. I went up to one of the police and I asked like what's going on here? Is there a VIP because there's a big luxury limousine? And I said yes, the president is here. So what interesting timing I have and I guess this must be a great tourist attraction if even the president is interested in visiting it. While modern Antalya is a city like any other, the old town is full of charm and interesting boutiques selling Turkish artisan craft work. Look at this beautiful jacket, it's hand embroidered. Lined in what, cotton or silk actually it almost feels like. I would absolutely wear this. That gorgeous jacket that I would buy however it costs a thousand dollars and I've been around the world enough to know that that Kashmiri style in India would not cost more than 
two or three hundred dollars and it's the same hand embroidery. Of course everything here is negotiable. I'm sure I could get him down to maybe five or six hundred if I really really wanted it but the truth of the matter is am I ever gonna wear that jacket except for maybe in a photo? No. If the weather is good it's wonderful just to stroll and let yourself get lost in the alleyways of the town. Hello. Hello. Look at these rings. I actually like these rings. I guess I make Yes boy, I'm handsome or not? So handsome. Tell yes. the joke again that you're not well, I'm Einstein. Not go, you're Me? not Yeah, you're I not I look like a Einstein, Makarievich singer, Turkish singer, Rudy Furler. But you're Tustein. Yes, I am Tustein because I am clever than Einstein. You know why? Why? Because he doesn't believe God, I believe God. That's why. Also and, and Einstein have on Facebook he doesn't know the form. I am clever than him. Then I can use it. Sultani. Change wow. color. Huh. Independent light. It's beautiful. Green is my favorite color first. I like emeralds. I know that one, but I show you like this. It's better you make a video. Look, now it's green at the door. Go to be changed color. Pink. Under sunshine red. In wow. The yeah. And this stone on the world just in Turkey has. The name is Sultanit. Sultanit? Yes. You see? Change color. Again, it's still cold here in Antalya. It can't be more than 50 degrees. And walking around a bit in this beautiful old town, I needed to stop and have some warm drink and some food. And we found this little, very cute, cozy place that actually has a lot of vegan food which is very surprising um, for turkey and so we've ordered some dishes that have just come and are going to take a little respite and uh, refresh and then walk around a little bit more I'm really quite surprised and, and just happy to see another side of Antalya that is not going back and forth to the dental clinic um, to see something that is so quaint and has all of these cute little shops. If it were 10 degrees warmer, it would be absolutely perfect for just spending the whole day walking around here. But nonetheless, I recommend it wholeheartedly. <laughs> Walking around the old town here in Antalya is so, so beautiful. I'm really glad that after five days that I've been here, I have finally come out and to see another side of the city. And now we've just walked down these very precipitous stairs to the pier where there's boats. You have an absolutely unbelievable view of the Mediterranean Sea and the mountains in the backdrop. Just wow. I mean, this is absolutely worth an excursion. If you're coming to Antalya to get your teeth done, do not miss the attraction. Even though it was too cold and windy to properly enjoy, I totally recommend walking all the way down to the pier where you can watch the boats drift by, eat fresh mussels filled with rice from the street vendors, and just be amazed by the beauty of the Mediterranean Sea.